Withers, Wardens, and the Ender Dragon are all powerful mobs that can easily kill any Minecraft player. But what if I was to tell you that I could kill a player using 1,000 chickens? What? what? Oh, why are there so many? Bro, where did these come from? What? Oh my god, there's so many chickens. And I wouldn't just kill any player. I would kill the most hated player on this SMP. This is Desi, who is now despised because of his numerous killings, betrayals, and traps. And this is us fighting to the death while server members are dying around us and whilst 1,000 chickens are falling upon us. But to understand this position, we must go back before any of this happened and before Desi was even hated. This was everyone's first day on the SMP. And just like real life, I, I had no friends. Luckily, I got stuck with some players named Lucio, Astro, and Zendler. And we were all united by one starting goal, obtaining gear. So after we collected some iron... I was able to force a dog to be my friend. No. Me and this dog mutually agreed to be friends. Okay, I can get a dog. Do you honestly think you're- I got a dog. <laughs> don't do it. Please don't. Nope. And all of that somehow led to my team building a nether portal. But little did I know, the nether would become my first encounter with Desi. I, I found a team. I found a team. Run. I found a team. But in the heat of panic, I kind of forgot that there was a 24-hour grace period. I mean, can you blame me? There was a group of four people in enchanted armor who were running straight for me. Ignoring this mistake, Astro and I aimlessly sprinted around the nether until we decided to make a nether portal, then spent some time staring at a cat that was spinning. I'm just watching a cat spin right now. Okay, the cat is not important at all, but what is important is the village we found the cat in. Villages are extremely useful in survival Minecraft because they can be used to obtain necessities such as diamond armor and enchanted books. However, after a few minutes, we realized that no one on our team knew how to properly use villagers. And that was the least of my worries because Desi, who is on the enemy team, might I add, messaged me saying that we need to talk. So I decided to leave my team's call and untrustingly accepted Desi's request. Yo. So I'm planning to betray my team and I need your help. Oh, okay. That's right. One of the people who I should be totally against was asking me to help betray his team? I knew I had to make a choice whether or not I knew the consequences. And with a set decision in mind, I joined my team's call and told them this. We are going to help Desi betray his team. Although it was unclear what the result of this choice would be, we were ready to fight alongside Desi in his betrayal. However, this choice already sparked a problem. His team already had netherite, whilst my team had smelly iron armor, which could only lead to the decision of upgrading our gear. So Lucio and I took it into our own hands to scavenge the land far and wide for material. And luckily, this search was cut short because we stumbled across a little hobbit hiding away at a nearby village. Although this hobbit's actions represent peace, he proved that he had enough resources to literally fight a war on his own and this great hobbit's name was Pota <laughs> potato boy <laughs> potato boy agreed to help me and lucio with these problems but under one condition we were forced into being lumberjacks to get sticks for him well at least i was because lucio was in his own world <laughs> we're pantsless we're pantsless we're pantsless we swear somebody gets this a drop party yeah <laughs> <laughs> we were playing Minecraft whilst he simulated a modern airline by figuring out how to fly a boat. I did it! Oh my god. I'm not if you don't have a boat. I'm not getting in, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Thank you. Excuse, excuse that guy. I don't know what he's doing. And after a little bit of negotiating, diamond pants for all of your armor. You have anything else you could offer? A diamond shovel that is definitely my. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go. Potato Boy decided to give us all of his armor and tools. I'm kidding. We had to get the six by ourselves so we can buy all the armor from the villages. But despite the new diamond gear, conspiracies began to rise amongst my team. And by conspiracies, I mean the idea of Desi using our trust to lure us into their base. What if Desi actually wants to fake betraying his team and actually betray us. All right, I'll be back on tomorrow. I'll right. see you guys. See ya. Good night. All right, before it goes any further, just I want to say always beware for him trying to lure us into the base. I was just about to say we should just turn on him last second. I, I don't know if we should do that, but we should always be ready. Although this idea was still vague and unproven, I am committed to not taking any chances. The server's grace period ends in roughly 24 hours, which is when Desi plans for us to help betray his team. And with this little amount of time left, I decided that I was tired of living in constant fear. And this was not only for myself, but for my team too. Ah, uh, sick.
Thank you, a curse of binding gold chest plate. So my amazing self began working on a plan, and this is where the factor of 1,000 chickens comes into action. This is a 16 by 16 block platform, otherwise known as a layer of a Minecraft chunk, and I need to raise this 128 blocks into the sky. With the frame done, I have to place roughly 8,192 fences to fill in these walls, which is about 128 stacks of fences. But when I was finishing the first wall, I wasn't paying attention and fell to my death. This was a huge mistake because I went to bed with the project not even a quarter of the way done. It looks like a giant cheese grater. And when I logged on the next day, I figured out I only had eight hours left. So my goal right now is to get some wood. And pretty much, I don't want to do it by myself. So what if I force my teammate Zendler to get wood for me? How would you feel about being a lumberjack with me real quick and getting some wood? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> With the walls complete, I finished the roof by placing a layer of signs and a layer of sand. And that's everything done, except for the chickens. And with time ticking, I whipped out the seeds and lured two birds into my chamber. You guys better know how to climb stairs. As long as they don't fall off, we'll be fine. Are you kidding me? I may have partaked in chicken breeding. So right now I have six chickens and I need to get about a thousand. And I only have two and a half hours until PvP is turned on. But whilst everyone was in a call, the absolute worst had happened. <laughs> bro, I died, I died right on the sound effect, bro. Although I tried to play it off cool, one person in particular started to catch on to my act. Plinta, how do you die so Listen, much, bro, listen, alright? What I'm doing is something. And of course it had to be Desi. And with his suspicions growing, I knew that the chances of me pulling this off successfully were slimming down. But I decided to put my head down and keep working. So many chickens. Oh no, some of them are suffocating. And after a few grueling hours, I had finally obtained the goal of 1,000 chickens. But around the same moment, PvP was turned on, which is when Desi started to message me to come meet up with him so that he can bring us to his base and kill his team. However, something seemed off about Desi. He seemed excited to gain our trust, a little too excited. I started questioning if he was going to betray us instead. I mean, it was strange to notice how comfortable he was around my team. Eventually, we found an opportunity that would solidify our commitment to his plan or we strike first and kill Desi. He was bridging over a pit of lava, completely vulnerable to any of our attacks. We didn't kill him. I decided to leave my suspicions behind, and besides, I'm probably overthinking it anyways. Oh I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. <laughs> no. However, I should always stay cautious and have this on the top of my mind. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Never mind, stop. You have just arrived at their base, and I am panicking. So I drank an invis pot, swam over to the base, and got into position. It was now that I realized that if I even make one mistake, I would probably die. At this moment, I was sweating, and all I could even think was to do my job and follow Desi's cues. And for me, practically shaking, Desi told me to troll and smack then. So I did that a couple of times before even realizing how close I came to death. And eventually I got the cue I was waiting for. See, I told you. That's what you get for leaving me. That's what you get for leaving me. Let's do a game, bro. Nah, bro. You're dead. Back to Kobe Zeus. Yes, bro. You, might, you can't log during combat, bro. <laughs> Wait, you were killing that. Winning this fight was actually amazing for my team. We ended up getting more armor and even a new alliance with Desi. However, I can't help thinking about how all of that happened so fast. Almost as if it went so fast that I forgot about my own promises. I want to say always beware for him trying to lure us into the base. Oh wait, where is Lucio? Although I was fine gathering loot, I forgot about the rest of my team. I mean, all I did was disobey my team values and had left them with the person who was on the enemy team. To be honest, what can go wrong? Well, it turns out everything, everything can go wrong. And he didn't stop there. He ended up killing both Zendler and Astro, meaning that he killed everyone on my team besides me. And at this moment, I had felt the guilt of letting my team down and failing to protect them. I fought through these feelings and eventually got to my base. But when I got there, Desi had said, Even if you are close, I'm running away in this right now, so... And somehow managed to convince me that I was alone. However, this wasn't the case. Because a couple minutes later, Desi revealed himself. That is fast. Yeah, who's better at PvP? Let's, let's test it. Let's test it, bro. There's no way. How are you hitting me from that far? Let's test it, bro. Come here. 
No way you picking me that fast. <laughs> Although I killed him, neither of us even got our revenge. Desi just died and obviously wants to kill me again. And I want to beat him in a sub race. First to 10k wins. That looks like a 10k, right? No. And right now, I'm losing. By a lot. It would mean the world to me if you even considered subscribing. Thank you. Provoked by his death, Desi thought of the bright idea to challenge me to a cage fight in my own cage. And he says that if he wins, I give him back his armor. But if I win, I get back literally nothing oh. useful. No nothing Bruh. I need. I mean, any logical person would say no. But I do have a thousand chickens above the cage. And wouldn't it be funny if I drop them mid-fight? Potentially distracting Desi enough so I can win? Oh, I'm in. But how would I even drop 1,000 chickens in the middle of a fight? It's nearly impossible for me to create some sort of contraption that can function mid-combat. Unless I ask someone to break one specific block that connects the entire trap together. But who can I even ask to do this? I mean, no one knew about this besides Lucio. And can I even trust him anymore? He abandoned me after our last fight, even though I warned him. However, none of this even matters because because it's the day of the cage fight, and members were already gathering to watch this fight between me and Desi. So going into this battle, all I could hope for was a sign. Three, two, one, fight. But just as the fight started, I saw a sign, oh. meaning that Lucio was up there and broke the block releasing 1,000 chickens into the fight. Now my only goal was to survive. I don't care about killing Desi. I don't care about winning a sub race. All I care about are the chickens reaching the ground. And with them being 128 blocks into the air, I have to stall for an entire minute as they fall. Well, that's, uh... <laughs> Are you placing a sign down? Is this- what, what is- I started losing the fight and had to eat a golden apple. But randomly, Hayes began killing the rest of the audience, which fortunately distracted Desi and gave the chickens more time to fall. And eventually, everyone shifted their attentions towards the chickens. What? Bro, where did these come from? At last, right as they were about to hit the ground, I did it. Oh! <laughs> I killed him with 1,000 chicken. And if you did enjoy this video, please consider watching me remove an entire mountain. I'm sure you'll enjoy it, and thank you all for watching.